Finally tonight, it's been just over a year since that fixture of late night television, David Letterman, signed off for the last time, changing his life and his look after decades in front of the camera. Our own Tom Brokaw appeared often on late night and recently spoke with Letterman. One year after he walked away from the Late Show spotlight, we caught up with David Letterman at one of his teenage hangouts in Indianapolis, his hometown. What's, what's living in that beard? I mean, is it nesting something there or is it likely? <laughs> We're, we, have a, we have a guy from Orkin coming out here later. I always told myself when, when a, the show goes away, uh, I will stop shaving. I had to shave every day from 20 till I was 68 roughly every day and I got so sick and tired of it. Now 69, he took me on a sentimental journey. We stopped by the house where he grew up. His parents bought it for $8,000. This is a two bedroom house and years later when my mom moved out of there, she sold it for $30 million. $30 million. And his high school. And in this very school, and everybody's school, you hear the great thing about America is anybody can grow up to be president. Oh, geez, I guess that might be, might be true. He did more than 6,000 shows in a 33-year late-night career. Do you miss every night? No. I, you know, I don't. Uh, and it's interesting. I, I, thought, uh, I thought for sure I would. Uh, and then the first day of Stephen's show, uh, when he went on the air, an energy left me. And I felt like, you know, that's not my problem anymore. I couldn't care less about late night television. I'm happy for the guys, uh, men and women. Uh, there should be more women. And I don't know why they didn't give my show to a woman. That would have been fine. Did they ask you about who should replace you? No. Oh, no. Yeah. No, they didn't ask me about anything. They were just, <laughs> they were just happy I was going. <laughs> he says he's happy out of the spotlight, content to finally have time with his wife and 12-year-old son, Harry and live behind that mangy, manly beard. Nobody in my family likes it. My son says, it's creepy. <laughs> and I can't dispute that. I said, yeah, I know, I know, Harry, it is creepy, but it's also dad. <laughs> and, and you're stuck with creepy old dad. Tom Brokaw, NBC News, Indianapolis.